welcome student today we are going to discuss regarding vitamin c i am dr devang r pandya department of chemistry st jeeves college autonomous ahmedabad these are the structure of vitamin c ascorbic acid and sometimes it has this cyclic structure as well so these two type of structures would be there for vitamin c well scurvy a disease resulting from vitamin c deficiency has been known since beginning of the recorded history that means since a long time ancient time uh, this uh, scurvy disease is known uh, as far as the history of this different diseases is concerned the fact that the scurvy syndrome is a deficiency uh, disease uh, was shown by bole and bartenstein in 1925 zilva isolated pure ascorbic acid from lemon and established its important properties ascorbic acid is a white odorless crystalline compound it is a water soluble it deteriorates in solution especially in presence of light a and riboflavin that is vitamin b2 so in the presence of this compound uh, vitamin c deteriorates faster chemically ascorbic acid belongs to a class of compound called uh, reductants the simplest compound belonging to this class is reductic acid reductants have strong reducing properties and that is why it is known as reductants the biochemical function of ascorbic acid are dependent on this property of reducing other and you know that you are using ascorbic acid uh, to reduce uh, silver uh, metal elements into nanoparticle so this is the reductic acid now physical property of vitamin c that is ascorbic acid vitamin c ascorbic acid has molecular formula c6h8o6 melting point between 190 to 192 degree centigrade and uh, it is also known as l xyloscorbic acid so water soluble this is the uv value ir nmr C13 NMA and mass spectroscopy value for the structural elucidation of this compound. Now occurrence of vitamin C, the source of vitamin C. Every time I say this, when we need to study the chemistry of any compound, we need to study the source, its purification, or we can say occurrence. then we need to find out its physical chemical properties structural information and the application when we include all these five steps together we can learn the chemistry of that particular compound so here the vitamin c ascorbic acid is widely distributed in plant and animal kingdom it is uh, present in all living cells mainly all living living cell include vitamin c citrus fruits berries and green vegetables are the rich source of vitamin c and uh, the deficiency leads to scurvy or bone related issues and therefore we need to have citrus fruits berries and green vegetables in our diet to keep this uh, amount of vitamin c in body because it is a water soluble uh, compound the highest concentration of ascorbate in animal tissues occurs in the adrenals so in adrenals we can found this highest concentration of vitamin c isolation of vitamin c how to find out from the raw form or raw material ascorbic acid in a solution is really oxidized readily oxidized sorry hence all isolation processes are carried out in absence of light oxygen and metal like copper 
an aqueous extract of the raw material is freed of impurities by precipitation the vitamin is precipitated as it lead uh, salt in the form of lead salt at ph 7.6 the salt is decomposed by dissolving in water the sulfate and chlorides are precipitated at lower ph that is ph 2 coloring matter extracted with n butyl alcohol and the aqueous solution concentrated in vacuum without heat vacuum without heat the vitamin is purified by crystallization and we're going to get this vitamin c ascorbic acid now structural elucidation of vitamin c howarth hist and coworkers established the structure of ascorbic acid it has an empirical formula earlier already i've said c6h8o6 active hydrogen determination showed the presence of four hydroxyl groups here you can see one two three and the fourth one over here so four hydroxyl groups when you uh, do active hydrogen determination you found four hydroxyl group in ascorbic acid vitamin c of these two of the hydroxyl group were shown to be vicinal by the formation of mono isopropylidene derivative so two vicinal uh, hydroxyl group would be there and uh, that can be identified by find by getting the uh, mono isopropylidene derivative uh, we can say that the ascorbic acid contain two hydroxyl group in a vicinal position so here you can see that vitamin C ascorbic acid is there on treating with acetone. In presence of proton, we are going to get mono isopropylidene derivative and that indicates that two vicinal hydroxyl group is present into this compound. Reaction with diazomethane under cold condition gave immediately uh, methyl ether structure 12.114 which gave a blue color with ferric chloride you can see the structure over here diazomethane in cold condition will going to get methyl ether this is the methyl ether we're going to obtain and diazomethane at room temperature we are going to get 2,3-dimethoxyether. So that way 2 3 compound is going to be obtained treating with uh, diazomethane either in the cold temperature or at the room temperature. We will get two different kind of product. Now what it indicate? That reaction with diazomethane under cold condition gave immediate methyl ether and uh, it gives a blue color with ferric chloride. So we can identify the presence of vitamin C in the compound. At room temperature, dimethyl ether was formed that already we have seen, which showed no reducing property. So here you can see that at room temperature, we are going to get 2,3-dimethoxy ether and this compound does not have any reducing property. The color reaction of 2.114, that is this one, methyl ether, with ferric chloride showed the formation of 3-methyl ethyl, 3-monomethyl uh, ether initially. So that we can see over here. Mono, 3-monomethyl group. This is because while 1,3 enols are acids, 1,2 enols are phenolic in nature. So 1,3 enols will going to be acidic, 1,2 enol phenolic in nature. At room temperature, 2,3 dimethyl ether, that is 12.115 is formed, which has no reducing property, which already we have discussed. 
so that reaction is already go, given over here the enolic character of the hydroxyl group requires the presence of double bond which was indicated by the color reaction with tetranitromethane so that enolic character of hydroxyl group which we found here in the double bond and that can be identified by treating with trinitromethane we are going to get the color reaction while ascorbic acid treated with uh, uh, keto reagents the dimethyl ether that is 12.115 did not react with the keto reagents as already we studied that it won't give any reducing property this showed the presence of enolizable conjugated double bond system of the type 12.116 that we are going to see later on the lead tetraacetate oxidation of the dimethyl ether gave formaldehyde indicating the presence of a primary hydroxyl group and another hydroxyl vicinal to the primary hydroxyl group another vicinal hydroxyl group to the primary hydroxyl group so that we can found over here so here these are the two hydroxyl group vicinal to each other Oxidation of ascorbic acid gave dihydroascorbic acid which on further oxidation with sodium hypoiodite gave oxalic acid and L-threonic acid. The L-threonic acid was identified by oxidation with nitric acid which gives uh, tartaric acid as well. The isolation of L-threonic acid showed that ascorbic acid is a derivative of L-glucose. So, here we can find out the derivative of L glucose. Oxidation of ascorbic acid gave dihydroascorbic acid. So here the oxidation will going to give you dihydroascorbic acid. And that on further oxidation with sodium hypoiodide, sodium hypoiodide, when we do further oxidation, we're going to get oxalic acid and L-threonic acid. L-threonic acid on treating with HNO3 will going to get tartaric acid. And that indicates that this compound is a derivative of L-glucose. Ozonolysis of tetramethyl ether afforded an ester which on treatment with ammonia gave oxamide and the amide of 3,4-dimethyl L-threonic acid. The constitution of uh, this structure 12.124 that is 3,4-dimethyl L-threonic acid was proved by the uh, Weirman test which shows the presence of a free hydroxyl group in a and the alpha position it stands for alpha alpha position of an amide. So here you can see that 2,3-dimethyl ether and treating with methyl iodide in presence of uh, potassium carbonate will going to get tetramethyl ether which on ozonolysis will going to get this uh, ester readily formed the ester and ester treating with ammonia will going to get oxamide and this structure uh, which is amide of 3,4-dimethyl L-threonic acid that is going to be obtained. Biogenesis of vitamin C. Plant and animals, excluding uh, goania pigs and uh, primates, synthesize ascorbic acid from D glucose. An interesting point is that uh, glucose molecule is turned upside down during the biosynthesis. Uh, this is uh, goana pig, and these are primates and they do not have uh, capacity to synthesize ascorbic acid from D glucose except these two uh, every animal and plant have ability to synthesize ascorbic acid from D glucose now this is the biogenesis of ascorbic acid from D glucose biochemical function and chemical significance of ascorbic acid 
The biochemical role of ascorbic acid is its ability to function as a reversible oxidation reduction system. Dehydroascorbic acid is reduced to ascorbic acid by reductants like uh, glutathione. Ascorbic acid appears to be involved in the hydroxylation reaction of the cell. So this is a biochemical function of ascorbic acid in the body that is vitamin C's biochemical role. Estimation of ascorbic acid. Identify an estimation of ascorbic acid. The following is the most widely used method measuring only reduced ascorbic acid. To get fairly uh, reliable results, the method consists of the uh, four stages. Stage 1, we need to convert the total vitamin C content into dehydro form. Second, to determine the amount of reducing substance left in the solution by titration with the blue dye. Third, to reduce the total dehydro form uh, with hydrogen sulfide. And the fourth step, to titrate with uh, endophenol uh, for to titrate with uh, endophenol 4, we can identify an uh, amount of ascorbic acid present into the uh, dehydroform. The difference between the value of the second and first titration gives the content of vitamin C. The determination of dehydroascorbic acid in the presence of ascorbic acid is accomplished by precipitation of the osazone of dehydro compound with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. The precipitate is estimated gravimetrically. Beck and co-workers synthesized L- ascorbic acid from D-glucose. 1 to O isopropylidine alpha D gluconase, uh, glucoronase, that is 12.131 structure, was oxidized to the alpha ketolecton with platinum oxygen in acidic solution. The hydrolysis followed by reduction with sodium borohydride at uh, neutral pH gave L ascorbic acid. So here you can see that 1, 2, O isopropylidine alpha D glucoronose uh, treated with uh, oxygen in presence of platinum will going to give us alpha ketolectin and that further treated with uh, sodium borohydride reduction followed by acid hydrolysis will going to get uh, L ascorbic acid. Thank you for listening very unwearingly let's have speed but lies have speed but truth as stamina so stay with your truth stay safe stay healthy thank you